Imagine standing on a planet where the daytime heat could melt lead, and the night is cold enough to freeze you instantly. Mercury, the scorching little daredevil closest to the sun, experiences the most extreme temperatures of any planet in the solar system. It's the cosmic embodiment of opposites, where a day is hotter than your worst summer nightmare, and the night makes the Arctic feel cozy. Strap in as we dive into this boiling freezing paradox that Mercury calls a day. The fastest and slowest spin in the neighborhood. Mercury has a unique spin compared to other planets. It takes 59 Earth days for Mercury to rotate once on its axis, while its year, the time it takes to orbit the Sun, lasts only 88 Earth days. Even stranger, a full solar day the time from one sunrise to the next takes 176 Earth days. So if you lived on Mercury, you'd have birthdays more frequently than sunrises. This slow rotation relative to its orbit creates drastic periods of both extreme heat and intense cold, giving Mercury one of the most contrasting day-night cycles in the solar system. Mercury's rotation speed and eccentric orbit contribute to its bizarre day-night cycle. Its highly elliptical path around the Sun means that Mercury sometimes moves fast enough in its orbit that the Sun appears to briefly set, then rise again. This apparent double sunrise can only be witnessed on Mercury due to the unique combination of its spin-orbit resonance. As the planet rotates three times for every two trips around the Sun, this cosmic choreography creates a situation where Mercury Day is effectively twice as long as its year. Temperatures from Hell to Hoth During the day, Mercury experiences temperatures of up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 427 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. With no real atmosphere to trap or distribute heat, this heat is limited to the areas facing the Sun. On the night side, however, temperatures drop as low as minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 180 degrees Celsius, almost three times colder than the harshest temperatures recorded in Antarctica. This dramatic difference of over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit between day and night is because of Mercury's lack of an insulating atmosphere. There's nothing to hold on to the heat when the sun dips below the horizon. Scientists have observed that Mercury's temperatures vary significantly due to its proximity to the sun and lack of atmospheric buffer. During the day, the ground heats up rapidly, while at night it loses all that energy just as quickly, creating extremes that make it nearly impossible for life as we know it to survive there. Mercury's proximity to the sun, only about 36 million miles on average, means it receives about six times the solar energy that Earth does explaining why the temperatures are so extreme despite its tiny size. The blazing hot sun. Now you see it, now you don't. Mercury's elliptical orbit and slow rotation give rise to unusual solar phenomena. At certain points on its surface, the sun seems to perform a celestial dance, rising partway, then reversing its direction before rising again fully. This strange phenomenon is caused by the planet's uneven speed as it travels along its elliptical orbit. When Mercury moves closest to the Sun, its speed is fast enough to temporarily outpace its own rotation, leading to these surreal moments when the Sun appears to reverse its path across the sky. This effect occurs twice during a Mercury solar day and is best observed near Mercury's equator. The uneven orbit also leads to specific regions called hot poles, where the Sun is directly overhead during Mercury's closest approach to the Sun. At these spots, it feels like the Sun is almost frozen in place for a few weeks, a result of Mercury's rotational and orbital dynamics sensing up. This strange interplay of orbital and rotational mechanics is one of the many factors that make a day on Mercury a cosmic oddity. The barely there atmosphere Mercury's atmosphere is so thin that it's classified as an exosphere, consisting mostly of atoms like sodium, hydrogen, and helium, which are blasted off the surface by solar radiation and micrometeorite impacts. The lack of a significant atmosphere means that there's no air pressure and no means to retain heat from the sun, leading to drastic temperature variations between day and night. Mercury's exosphere, unlike Earth's dense atmosphere, is largely formed by the process of ion sputtering, where atoms are knocked off the surface by the bombardment of solar wind particles. The solar wind also creates a comet-like tail that stretches millions of kilometers behind the planet. This exosphere is constantly replenished, 
but remains extremely thin, with no capability to support life or regulate temperatures. Thus, Mercury's atmosphere is more like a thin veil of escaping particles than a protective blanket like Earth's atmosphere. Eccentric Seasons Without Tilt Mercury's axial tilt is practically zero, only 0.01 degrees, which means it lacks seasons like those we experience on Earth. Instead of seasonal changes, Mercury's temperature shifts are driven by its eccentric orbit. Mercury has the most eccentric orbit of any of the eight major planets, ranging from 29 million miles to 43 million miles from the Sun. When it's closer, it heats up significantly, while during its farthest point, temperatures are slightly moderated, though still extreme. This eccentric orbit leads to what scientists call thermal seasons, dictated by the distance from the Sun, rather than the axial tilt. When closest to the Sun, the heat received is intense, contributing to periods when the planet's surface reaches its maximum temperatures. Conversely, when the orbit takes it farther, temperatures drop slightly, but the contrast remains stark. This odd version of seasonal change is yet another factor that contributes to Mercury's uniqueness in the solar system. Ice, ice, maybe. One of Mercury's most surprising features is the presence of water ice in craters at its poles. These craters are permanently shadowed and never receive sunlight, allowing temperatures there to remain low enough for ice to exist. This water ice was first detected by radar observations and later confirmed by NASA's MESSENGER spacecraft, which identified hydrogen-rich areas consistent with water ice. Despite being so close to the Sun, Mercury's shadowed regions provide a haven for ice, suggesting that comets or water-rich asteroids may have delivered ice billions of years ago. In these craters, temperatures can dip to around minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 184 degrees Celsius, cold enough to keep water frozen indefinitely. Scientists believe the ice could be covered by a layer of dark organic material, possibly deposited by impacts from comets. This discovery challenges our assumptions about water in the inner solar system and adds to the growing list of mysteries about how water can survive in such extreme environments. Mercury's Magnetic Shenanigans Mercury's magnetic field is one of its most intriguing features. Unlike Earth, where the magnetic field is relatively symmetrical, Mercury's magnetic field is about three times stronger in the northern hemisphere than in the southern. This asymmetry has baffled scientists, who attribute it to the planet's unusually large iron core. The core remains partially molten, generating a magnetic field that is weak overall only about 1% of Earth's strength, but still dynamic. The interaction of Mercury's magnetic field with the solar wind creates powerful magnetic tornadoes that channel solar plasma down to the surface, further enhancing the dramatic environment on Mercury. These magnetic interactions contribute to the dynamic nature of Mercury's exosphere, where charged particles from the Sun play a significant role in sculpting the thin atmospheric layer. It's a volatile mix that ensures the planet's magnetic field remains unpredictable and unique among terrestrial planets. From molten core to snowstorm iron, Mercury's core is unique in that it is believed to be partially molten, and it's massive making up 85% of the planet's radius. Researchers have described a phenomenon akin to iron snow occurring within the core, where iron may crystallize and fall inward as the planet cools. This process is thought to contribute to the maintenance of the magnetic field, similar to Earth, but with crucial differences due to Mercury's smaller size and different composition. This iron snow effect suggests that lighter elements in the core, such as sulfur, prevent it from solidifying entirely, allowing for continued magnetic activity. It's this delicate balancing act of molten and solid layers that powers Mercury's magnetic field, albeit in a much weaker form compared to Earth's. Understanding this internal process gives scientists clues about the magnetic history and geologic evolution of rocky planets in our solar system. A comet-like tail. Mercury's lack of a stable atmosphere means that particles are easily stripped from its surface, forming a tail that trails behind the planet. This tail, primarily composed of sodium and calcium atoms, extends over a million miles into space. The sodium atoms are particularly fascinating because they glow under the sun's intense radiation, giving the tail a comet-like appearance. The existence of this tail was confirmed by NASA's AESSENGER mission, 
which also revealed that solar radiation and micrometeoroid impacts play a crucial role in sustaining it. This tail is not just a quirky feature, it serves as a visible indicator of the complex interactions between Mercury's surface and the solar environment. The processes that generate the tail, such as photon-stimulated desorption and sputtering, highlight the constant bombardment Mercury faces from the solar wind. Thanks for sticking around, space explorers! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more cosmic curiosities. From boiling days to freezing nights, Mercury's got it all. And there's so much more to uncover about our mysterious solar system. Tap the bell icon so you never miss an interstellar adventure. Until next time, keep looking up.